Hello there, it's Psychic Cynthia here, and welcome. Welcome to you, my fellow spiritual adventurers and cosmic seekers of the light. Today's video is a prophecy-related video, uh, a collective or cosmic reading that I have done regarding the recent uh, event with the recent overturning of Roe versus Wade in the United States and just looking at what are the cosmic implications of this somewhat surprising and shocking happening. And because this is a spiritual prophecy video, uh, and I'll be using the runes, by the way, I'll be, I have done a rune reading for this. And I will be sharing with you my interpretation of that reading. Um, this is a cosmic reading. Again, it is looking at prophecy, which always looks at possibilities. Prophecy isn't quite the same thing as a precise prediction. And, and even predictions are never set in stone. So remember that until something actually has happened, it is not 100% sure to happen. Um, but I wanted to look at this because it's created a lot of upheaval in America, it seems like. It, it's really uh, activated a lot of issues for many of us on the path. And uh, again, this is a spiritual-based video, so I'm, I'm not making this video to make a statement about my opinion, even though I certainly do have an opinion on this issue. Uh, but I have to set that aside as much as possible for doing this reading. Um, or maybe I don't have to set it aside, but I just have to be open to hearing the guidance of the runes. And so what I'm looking for here and the questions I asked have to do with what is the cosmic significance of this recent decision? Um, perhaps what caused, what are the forces that caused this on a spiritual level? What are the implications? What can we expect to come out of it, positive or negative? And maybe why is it being done? Why was it done? Again, from the spiritual perspective, I'm not looking at, you know, the, the man perspective. Uh, and I'm not a legal expert. I haven't even read the legal briefing yet for the case. I've, I've been trying to find it. I haven't read it yet. Um, I'm just looking at, you know, why did this happen? What does it mean? And can the runes offer us any guidance about this going forward? Because it has been very upsetting to many people. Uh, and maybe some others are quite pleased. And, you know, if that's you, that's fine. But, you know, maybe you still want to understand the cosmic significance. Uh, I know I do. Uh, it's not very pleasing to me, by the way, but <laughs> but I know I do. I do want to understand uh, what's happening here, why has it been done, and then also how can this be used by the great plan somehow in some way, because I personally believe that good can come out of everything, even perhaps especially the unpleasant parts of life that really upset us. So these are the kinds of answers I asked the rune in this reading, the runes. Um, and if you're not familiar with the runes, that's spelled uh, in the way I'm using it here, R-U-N-E-S. And this is a, a divination tool. Or it is it's actually a magical, ancient magical alphabet that we use as a divination tool. Um, and for example, here's one of the symbols that was in the reading. Okay. So these are little symbols. There's so much more than that. I'm just really simplifying it for those of you who have not heard of it. Uh, and those of you who, who are familiar with the runes, you understand that these are the primal powers of creation, that the runes are one of the most ancient divination system, arguably perhaps the most ancient, one of them for sure. And the energies of the runes represent you know, patterns of creation going back to pre-civilization. So there's really a, a lot of, uh, th there's a lot here with this, okay? And there's actually a lot here in this reading. There's a lot of wisdom we can gain. So if you're willing 
to hear the wisdom of the ruins and to open your heart and mind, I invite you to uh, stay for a little while here with me. Okay, so let's take a few deep breaths in. And what I would like to invite you to do with me uh, is to connect with your ancestors, the spirits of your ancestors, because the runes are a very ancestral-based tool, and your guides. And by the way, even though I've done this reading, I've laid it out, I haven't done a lot of interpretation on it yet. I'm going to be doing that here with you. So I'm going to be unraveling this and delving into it with you. All right, so this is happening in real time, even if you're watching it later. Um, I've got the reading laid out, but I haven't done a lot with it. I can tell there's a lot here, though. So let's call upon our guides. Let's take a few beats a few breaths to open to our ancestors, our passed on loved ones. Just breathing deeply, aligning on all levels. And listen, if you've had kind of a crappy day or maybe this issue brings up a lot of emotions for you as it does for many of us, um, just let that go now. Just set the intention. Actually ask your angels and guides and your ancestors to carry away any energy that is not beneficial for you. Any energy that is not helpful or constructive or needed. Let's just take a moment to cleanse. Because there's cleansing needed around this issue. And cleansing is always good before you participate in a reading. So let's do that for a moment through our breath. Just however you cleanse. I think it's okay to simply ask your angels and guides to take those energies and maybe imagine a light of some kind, a colored light, different colors even, just raining over you and clearing your aura. And as we breathe together, I am calling upon the ancestors of all involved of all affected by this decision, of all who made this decision, and all of us who have collectively agreed in our karma to be here at this time and participate in these happenings. I call upon our ancestors, I call upon our guides, and I call upon the spirit of the runes themselves to reveal to us the wisdom the perspectives and truths that we need to see at this time for our highest good. And so it is. Blessed be. All right. I have my little runes here, but they're not easy uh, to hold them all up to the camera one by one. I will hold them up. Well, I'll hold them up one by one, but what I'm saying is I can't hold all five of them. I drew five runes for this. Actually, I only wanted to draw four. And this fifth one kind of stuck to my fingers, too. So he's an add-on, okay? Um, but just to make it easier, I've drawn this out on a piece of paper so you can see the whole reading. I don't know. It might appear backwards on the screen. I hope it doesn't. Um, I do have a photo of it, but I may not remember to put it in later. But here's number one. And pay attention. Uh, when I read runes, I move from right to left, not left to right. So it's going to go one and then two three, four, and five's kind of down here by himself, but he is part of the reading. Um, so those of you who are fellow runesters, you're welcome to, uh, you know, take down this picture of this layout and maybe study it yourself and do some of your own meditation upon this. Okay. So maybe I should just start with the summary of the reading because I know some of you don't have a lot of time. So, um, and then I'll go through them one by one. Okay. How's that sound? Is that okay? You know, so that way, if you just want the micro version, you can have that and you can go on. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of depth in this reading. So stick around if you want more. Um, basically what I see, at least these are my initial thoughts and listen, in two weeks, I might see more. I'm going to think about this reading. Okay. I know I will, and I know I'll come back to it, and it will reveal more later. Um, but what I see is happening here, what the runes are telling us, is that this recent decision 
has brought to the surface energies and emotions and thoughts, unconscious mostly, that we are needing to focus on cleansing. And many of these, uh, so cleansing is a huge theme here. And many of these feelings and thoughts that are coming up have to do with the primordial energies of creation and our own attitudes towards birth. And actually, the birthing run, the mother run is present in this reading. It's incredible that that came up. Um, so I know the runs are answering this. Um, and the top run here being uh, Laguz, Lake, Water, which is a very feminine run. So yes, the runes are definitely speaking to, you know, the feminine principles of life. But it's also saying that, you know, this is something that is happening on a cosmic level to, you know, without commenting on whether it's right or wrong or whether we agree with it or not, because a lot of us don't agree with it. Okay, but some do, I guess. But all of that, that's just the world of men, okay, or humans. Um in the spirit world, you know, it looks at what the higher meaning is or if there can be a higher purpose or even what are the spiritual causes underlaying it. So uh, what's propelling this on some level uh, is the need to cleanse and to deal with our deep-seated issues around life, really, the creation of life, the conception of life, uh, and the power of life, the power of life and death, actually. And, you know, so there, there's a lot going on with that. And what this reading shows me, because it deals with past, present, and future, and I'll break all that down here in a minute, uh, and then just also distant future going forward. Um, what this reading shows me is that, you know, we went through a timeline. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit far out here now, but you know, have you heard of like timelines and there can be alternate timelines and quantum realities? So in the timeline that we had been on, uh, we went through a timeline where, you know, if you want to go back to the original Roe versus Wade decision, that was a shift in the timeline that um, elevated, uh, you know, the rights of mothers and brought the energy of the mother into the highlight right so it's a, a protection of the mother you know an emphasis on the mother's right to choose and again you know i'm not making a political statement here i'm just looking at what the reading is saying that in the past there was an elevation you know to the mother and you know the energies were put on that rather than on the creation the child itself um, although i think both can be honored at the same time uh, but definitely you know, in that timeline, we we gave more precedence to the mother, to the life bearer, you know, and her power. And now there is an interruption in that, not just on a political level, understand. I'm seeing this in the cosmic level through these runes, that there has been a standstill in that timeline. So we're moving into a different timeline, but it hasn't been decided yet which one. And one of the principal timelines that we could actually move in to towards this is one of greater uh, harmony with intuition and teamwork, actually. Uh, this idea of teamwork with each other. But, but there is th this idea that, okay, even if you don't agree with the recent decision, and again, many of us don't, um, there's something here in this timeline, even with the chaos, that can push us towards having to cooperate with each other more. Uh, and, you know, you can read this how you want to. I mean, you could read it like you could say, well, is it going to cause and put, you know, pressure and initiative on those who are for these kinds of rights, for abortion rights? Is it going to, you know, cause those people to put aside differences and to come together as a team and to organize and respond, um, you know, in partnership? Or, you know, is it, is it going to cause them to take some action together? Or, you know, you can also look at it as just humanity. Is it going to cause all, all of us in some ways, I don't, I don't want to use the word cause, actually. Maybe it's going to create a ripple effect that will you know, make it to where we all have to work together. I mean, just an example of that is if there are 
you know, now going to be more children born that may not necessarily be wanted or maybe the parents aren't ready. Um, well, how are we going to deal with that as a society? I mean, we're going to need to pull together then to help those people, at least if we want to have an evolved approach to help those families, I should say. Uh, so it's leading to that. There, there is one element of this room that reading that I'm very concerned about, and, and that is it seems to be a blocking of knowledge. So maybe part of why this is happening on the man, man human, mundane level, um, I think it, it may be partly because there are powers that be that want to create chaos and division between us. And also, uh, and, and that was indicated by a private rune reading I did earlier, you know, to prime for this. Uh, but in here we have the knowledge rune. We have it reversed. I'm not sure which way I need to put it to show it reversed for you. Um, but, it, but it is reversed down there as an extra consideration. Uh, so we don't have the knowledge of what we need to do to move to a, a better timeline after this event. Either that or somebody is trying to block the knowledge or, or maybe just, uh, you know, there's a disempowerment that comes with this. And again, I'm not making this as a political video. I'm making it as a spiritual statement that, you know, what the runes are saying to me is that perhaps this could be part of, you know, an effort to intentionally try to keep people in the dark, to keep them away from their capabilities. Um, and, and I realize that there's others who see this as a, you know, a great, wonderful thing. And, you know, again, I don't have to agree with that to do this reading or disagree. Um, again, reporting what the rents are saying, even if there were some goods that comes out of it, which I think, you know, there's good that can come out of everything. Uh, we still need to look at the motives of the earthly people involved and what they're trying to do. Uh, and yet, remember that spirit can work through anything. The universal energies of evolution and rising consciousness can use even something that it feels like it's setting you back. Um, so don't lose faith in that if you feel that this is one of those types of decisions. Okay, that's just a little overview. Let's unpack this some more. So let's take a few deep breaths in. So this is run number one in the spread, and this run actually uh, is a prism or a, a rainbow or an umbrella that covers the entire reading. It sort of uh, encapsulates the larger issue, what the gods or the forces, the powers that be, uh, might be accomplishing through this. Uh, this is a, a cleansing run. This is Laguz Lake. Uh, it's also a run of subconscious forces, powerful subconscious forces. So this, this issue of the abortion rights uh, and just the whole abortion issue and whether it should be, you know, whether it's constitutionally guaranteed, which I don't know. I'm not a constitutional expert, by the way. I'm a psychic, okay, and a run reader and astrologer. Um, but maybe even more than the legal status, you know, just our feelings, again, our subconscious feelings around... Um, this issue of the womb, you know, and women, mothers, actually, mothers, and the children, and coming forth, life coming forth. So this, you know, it seemed like this issue was calm for many years, you know, on a larger level. Probably since the 80s, it hasn't been really highlighted. But night maybe early 90s but then all of a sudden it erupts it erupts from beneath the surface is what i'm saying and it's been percolating um and so there's a need for us to cleanse our feelings around this and to face that and maybe to cleanse our differences and when i say cleanse here i mean within yourself okay i, I actually mean facing your own subconscious issues so listen if you find yourself getting really rattled and really upset about this are even really, really excited if you're on the other end of the spectrum. Um, you might want to look at what your own personal subconscious issues are around this, what you still need to cleanse. Um, 
And again, that's true even if you're really excited. I mean, if you're gloating when another person is feeling really down and defeated, that's just poor taste, okay? <laughs> and, you know, and I would say that regardless of whether these opinions align with mine or not. I mean, we need to be, for those of us on the spiritual path, we are held to a higher standard, and that is a standard of compassion, okay? Uh, so especially if you're in favor of the recent decision, you know, open your heart to have compassion for those who are suffering. They're suffering mentally and psychologically because this is triggering some core issue within them. Uh, and it may be part of your karma, you know, all of us, it's part of our karma to have empathy and understanding uh, for those who are different than us. That's all. Okay, which is a big thing. <laughs> But this, this uh, Laguz rune, this cleansing rune, uh, is reminding us of the need for that. And this also can be uh, unhooking, unhooking from, you know, getting too rattled up. In other words, not making too much of this necessarily, you know, giving it its proper place, whatever that is in your life. But, you know, I am getting the feeling that this whole thing is being used to uh, create chaos, to create a upheaval you know a feeling of emergency and we need to be careful about that i mean even if you are wanting to do something you know to help change what just happened especially you know instead of being in a fight or flight state you need to go into your calm center state so be aware of the need to cleanse to move from that false feeling of emergency that that, you know, external feeling of chaos, you have to move from that back to that, you know, cool, calm lake. Because one of the meanings for the name of this rune is lake. So are your waters choppy? Right? Or can you stay calm, calm, even when the storm is around you? Uh, and maybe even when the storm is raging inside of you, is there a place? Is there a place in the center of the lake, a, a vortex, a connection, a portal that you have with the higher self? That is the larger meaning of some of this or the larger karma I, I'm hearing and seeing here that we are to tap into. So I'm spending a lot of time on this part because even if this is all you get, I think it would be the most important part. I'm going to move over to position number two here. And again, I'll be reading... Um, right to left, not left to right. That's just the way I read runes. And we have the, the Birch Mother rune on her side there. So that's a converse. If you want to get technical, she's falling. Which makes sense with, you know, the decision to um, place the you know, the, the recent legal decision says that the mother's decision regarding, you know, this life and birthing issue, her power of decision will be secondary to the states. And again, I'm not trying to give an opinion on that. I'm just saying I'm stating what the legal decision says um, that states get to decide. And, you know, we'll see, you know, state by state. Um, so... But also, this is a rune of the past, too, and it's, you know, is speaking of in the past, you know, perhaps the mother's rights have been more elevated or the mother has, you know, had more freedom to decide. Um, but, you know, this birch mother rune, Burkana, Burkano, she's turned on the side, almost like she's giving birth, by the way. Um, It tells me that even with, you know, having had Roe versus Wade and, and what seems like many years of, you know, empowerment for women and empowerment for mothers, we're just not there yet, okay? <laughs> like, we haven't been there. We thought we made a lot of progress in that, but we haven't made a lot of progress in that. And so perhaps this is a, a wake-up call to this. And here, in the present moment, we have the Issa run, which is ice. And I think that does sort of describe the recent decision <laughs> in many ways. Um, you don't have to be a runic genius genius to get that that implication there. Um, but you can you can delve deeper into this, and you can think about Issa ice representing you know a time of standstill, 
you know, a, a frozen time. It's, it's also, ice is a bridge in places where these runes, you know, hail from, like in the ancient cold, you know, like Arctic Circle and Northern Europe. Um, in winter, they would actually cross ice to get to places. So, you know, an ice can be viewed as a bridge from one place to the other. But of course, an ice bridge is, you know, can be treacherous and slippery. Uh, so I do feel this indicates we are in a treacherous and slippery place. Uh, and again, that's whether you agree with it or not. I'm just looking at what the runes are saying. Isa is not viewed as the easiest, most favorable rune. And listen, I understand all the runes are favorable in their own ways when viewed cosmically. But when they express in the outer world, some of them have more difficult energies. And this is one of them. Uh, this puts things at a standstill. It's, it's not all bad news for those who are worried about the recent decision because that means that there is time to gain energy. Uh, there is time to regroup in most cases. Um, and Issa does speak often about the need... What, what I'm feeling here, what it's speaking to, is the need to go within. Um, the need to build up our own personal ego strength. I know many of you are feeling like going out and doing something about this, protesting or doing sit-ins, uh, ho hopefully peaceful, um, because I think it should be peaceful to honor the mothers, you know, to honor, you know, what women we have stood for throughout time. I mean, yes, we can be angry and violent, but uh, we don't have to take on that energy. There's a lot more power in peace. That is the yin way. Uh, but that doesn't